Hey everybody, Economic Ninja. I hope you are doing well. I can tell you who is not doing well. That is General Motors and other car manufacturers and soon to be in 2024 auto manufacturer employees, the workforce. The workforce thinks that they're gonna get one over on the auto manufacturers, but I'm here to tell you in 2024, especially in late 2024, you're gonna see layoffs on a unprecedented level in the auto industry. Consumer News General Motors says it is now laying off more than a thousand employees. Sources tell NBC News that 600 of those jobs are at GM's tech campus near Detroit. The layoffs come less than six months after a change in the division's leadership. The job cuts represent just over 1% of the company's salaried workforce. In July, the carmaker reported its best quarterly sales since the end of 2020. Carolyn, now to the looming layoffs at Stellantis and thousands of jobs are on the line. Stellantis saying they plan to lay off roughly 2,450 workers at the Warren Truck Assembly. That plant currently builds an older version of the Ram 1500 pickup, but that production is moving to their Sterling Heights plant, causing a shift to be eliminated at Warren. 7 News reporter Tara Braddock talking with auto workers who've been with Stellantis for many, many years, sharing advice that they have for younger auto workers. Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. I've got some big news to tell you. And the reason why it's big news, because it might not affect you in your country, but I believe that we are gonna see a trend here very shortly. And that is pr large scale protests when it comes to dock workers or anyone involved in the supply chain. See, well, all of that stress, right? Of, of uh, the world trying to put stress on let's say that country putting stress on its dock workers hey you've got to get things going faster and the dock workers are going hey we don't have enough help um we need more tools better equipment you know so on and so forth what happens is that pressure builds up and finally they go look heck with this we're going to strike that would be devastating right even at the 15th largest port in the country or i'm sorry the world that would be bad in the meantime, we turn to the economy tonight into this crippling strike. Tens of thousands of union dock workers up and down the East Coast and the Gulf walking off the job, threatening the nation's supply chain and, of course, then the prices you could potentially pay. Breaking news overnight. Tens of thousands of dock workers walking off the job just after midnight. The strike threatens the nation's supply chain and could lead to higher prices and possible shortages. Ports from Maine to Texas, like the ones you're seeing live right now, are being impacted. We're going to be talking about the Teamsters possible uh, strike that's coming and how it's going to affect UPS. Guys, this is out of Freightways below, and let's uh, dig right into this. And then we're going to talk about the possible ramifications if this does happen. I covered a story last week about President Biden bailing out the, as of last week, the largest pension bailout in history by our government, which was a Teamsters pension. I have a feeling you are going to start seeing the Teamsters really try and jockey for position when it comes to government money and using the government to help them fight for more wages, higher wages, and better working conditions. If you're working in a large corporation, you need to understand that your, your job may not be around in the future because of management decisions that could affect the entire company and your job. And that's why you have to be prepared now to take advantage of not only crashes in the economy where you can buy things cheaply like homes and things like that, stocks, every seven to 10 years, we have a recession. Every 50 to 100, we have something a lot bigger than that. And that's the cycle we're in right now. So you need to be prepared for those things. My point being is that just like Enron, massive company, right? Gone. We've seen other companies here today, gone tomorrow. And UPS, in my opinion, will be one of those dominoes that fall. As a matter of fact, in my humble, unprofessional opinion, I could see UPS being taken out because of something like this. Well, UPS says it's cutting 12,000 jobs. The shipping company attributes the layoffs of lower volume. It also says its revenue has dropped more than $9 billion year over year. UPS says the cuts affect less than 3% of its workforce. 
earned hundreds of UPS employees at a local facility will soon lose their jobs. A UPS will close their day shift operations at the Swan Island sorting facility, laying off around 330 people. Now, this update comes as UPS works to reduce staffing at a number of facilities. Those layoffs go into effect April 19th.